When you start RigsCAD, the launcher allows you to pick the workspace for the current task you want to perform. Let's open the drawing we're going to start with for our 2D floor plate layout. As usual, you can select template files, apply them to your models and your layouts to ensure that your drawings meet your standards. New to V24 is the ability to directly create new drawings from a template from the start page. Now, the BricsCAD Layout Manager also assists you in adding, removing, renaming layouts directly from that tab, and also has the ability to publish selected layouts using all of the output functionality of BricsCAD. You get very fast, one-click access to those tools. Speaking of one-click, the ability to have the commands you need at the point of work without any typing, no ribbon, and no toolbars? That's the BricsCAD Quad Cursor. We've improved it greatly for V24. The Quad Cursor is context sensitive, so depending on the entities you hover over, the Quad will display the requisite commands that can be used with those entities. Of course, at any time, you can always type a command in at the command prompt and use the muscle memory that you already have. Speaking of commands that are, well, commandless, the manipulator allows you to select entities and move, copy, rotate, and mirror them directly with no command input. And the nearest distance command in BricsCAD accepts a typed in dimension as an override to apply a move between any two entities. Now in the layer of the 2D floor plate, we used a combination of geometry and blocks. You probably know that blocks are the most effective and efficient ways to represent repetitive geometry in your drawings. But sometimes it's hard to remember where you created those or to create them in the first place. And the Blockify command in BricsCAD has undergone some great enhancements for V24. Here you see us using Blockify to match geometry with other similar geometry in the drawing. And it allows us to easily create blocks to represent that repetitive geometry. This reduces the size of our drawing files and makes it easier to load and work with those drawings in BricsCAD or any other CAD program. Everything you learned about drawing in 2D can help you move to 3D with BricsCAD. Our unique direct modeling allows you to simply select faces and boundaries and then push and pull the geometry. All the 2D moves you know from sketching through extruding and creating new geometry are simpler in BricsCAD because it's one environment that lets you work in both workflows simultaneously. We've created one example of this produce bin, which we're going to add into our library parts. Now we'll simply copy it to produce the quad bin that we're going to use in the final library component. Then we'll switch on some layers to show you the outer surroundings that we've created separately for this produce bin. This same paradigm of using a sketch in 2D and then using it to create 3D geometry works for just about any shape you can imagine inside of BricsCAD. And here's the 3D representation of our five-door refrigerator case for the store planning exercise. Now that we've placed all of the 2D blocks in their proper orientation on the floor plate, we're going to use the block replace workflow within BricsCAD to simply swap them out for their 3D equivalents. If the 3D parts have been modeled and exist in your library, tools like Block Replace can help you move from 2D to 3D faster and more accurately. Once we have the 3D model, it's very easy to do visualizations and advanced calculations on the way things fit together within the space. Now we'll insert a parametric block created in BricsCAD directly from our library to place an end cap on the end of one of the shelving units. We're constantly improving BricsCAD parametric blocks and there's a lot of great new features in V24. Uh, for one thing, it's more visual. Do you see that flip line? And you can see that a parametric block can contain a variety of different states that allow you to represent it as required in various drawings. Here are a series of dynamic blocks created in another CAD board. 
Whilst these blocks work perfectly in BricsCAD and can be used in all their iterations, they can't be edited. That's why we created Block Convert. In V24, we've consistently enhanced and refined Block Convert to accept dynamic blocks from other programs and immediately convert them into BricsCAD style parametric blocks so that you can edit them inside of BricsCAD's block editor. Here you can change the visibility states, cycle through of all of the available parametric actions, and add and remove those parametric actions as you need from your blocks. You may find that even when blocks are included in libraries, for example, the produce bins that we're working with here, we can see by hovering over them, the tooltip says that an incorrect version of these blocks has been used. This is not a problem. The drawing health management workflow in BricsCAD has been improved again for V24. It now incorporates overkill, which allows you to select geometry in the drawing that's duplicated and simplify it. Or in our case, to select duplicate block definitions that have different names. This ensures you remain in control and gives you the ability to quickly rectify each of these insertion situations within a single operation. The Drawing Health tool is automated, not automatic. You have full control over what gets modified. At the end of the Drawing Health run, the command generates a report to show you all the changes that have been made to the current drawing. Now let's start to lay out some drawing views of our five door refrigerator cabinet. We need some shop drawings that will be used to finish the assembly of these cabinets and prepare them for installation on the floor of the store. We're going to use the view base command to create our standard drawing views very quickly from that 3D geometry. We have full control over the way that each of those views are depicted in the properties panel. Now, earlier you saw how easy it was to go from 2D to 3D. Well, now we're showing you how easy it is in BricsCAD to go from a 3D model to a 2D drawing that's fully associative to the model. When the model changes, the drawing will update too. You have the ability to quickly create a section view and create circular or rectangular details just as easily. In V24, we've improved the performance of generated drawing views in BricsCAD to help you get the drawings you need out of your models faster whilst maintaining the accuracy you need. Next, we want to add a parts list to this drawing to call out the various components of this refrigerated case. To do that, we'll use multimeter entities to point to all the individual parts and pieces making up the equipment. We're going to use this drawing on the shop floor to help the team assemble this cabinet. You notice that we can select these multi-leaders and change the way they're depicted very easily from the property panel in BricsCAD with all the functionality and capability you'd expect from this common entity type. The multi-leader align command makes quick work of lining them up in our drawing. Now we'll close out the rest of that sequence and show you the rest of the multi-leaders in place. Now we're going to import data in a table from Microsoft Excel. This is something that you've told us you do on a regular basis. So to make it easier for you, we've added smart cell copy and editing to BricsCAD V24. This is the ability to import an existing spreadsheet, create a table, and then easily modify and edit the table by adding, removing rows, and copying data between the rows and columns in that table. These types of functional enhancements make it that much easier and quicker to deliver the documents you need to deliver in order to get work done and get paid. You may have noticed that we added a row to our table. Uh, let's add the requisite leaders here, but we want to point to all five shelves. So we'll simply use a multi-leader with multiple arrowheads to those five shelves. And voila, our shop drawing is generally complete.
Another thing you asked for is behavior that's consistent with other CAD applications. In BricsCAD v24, the trim and extend commands automatically highlight geometry to show you what your options look like. It's that easy. And once you've gone in and completed the geometry modifications, you can invoke a new command in v24, QDIM. QDIM lets us place linear dimensions very quickly within a drawing. These dimensions are all easily modified to meet your standards and the placement requirements for individual drawings. And another area where we've improved the performance of BricsCAD v24 is around associative dimensions. The Anno Monitor system variable adds a small glyph that shows associative dimensions that have lost the connection to the geometry that defines them. So whenever the Anno Monitor flag comes on, we know that that particular dimension value doesn't match reality, and it allows us to modify the geometry or modify the dimension as required so that they're correctly shown. In V24, we've also completely revamped the BricsCAD Sheet Set Manager, including new multi-user access to DST files. We have a new Model View tab that allows us to extract model views from any drawing and paste them into a layout really easily. Once we've done this, you'll see that we also have the ability in the new Sheet Set Manager to publish directly from the Sheet Set which gives us the ability to quickly create, well, in this case, PDFs, including, and this is new to V24, bookmarks in those PDFs so that it's easy for you to hyperlink to the individual sheets in the PDF file. Another user request was the ability to output standard raster file types with full control over size and DPI. Now in BrexCAD v24, this is directly available in the print and publish dialogs. As you can see, we can quickly generate raster file output for whatever type of documentation needs you have.